I wasn't what you wanted then. What you wanted then was this house and that job and those cars and this lifestyle. There's a growing divide between us because he holds on to everything here. And the more I distance myself from everything here, and the more I realize that he wants to keep it, the harder it is to reconcile in my mind. Have you ever thought about the fact that that might be because that's the only thing I have left? I have thought about that. But it's really hard for me to want so much with my life and realize that I will probably not get to have that if we're together. And it's really hard for me to reconcile, like, I love you and do I want this relationship or do I want this for my life? Because I feel like it's an either or. And it's really hard to know what to do. I don't think that it's an either or. I think that there has to be compromise on both sides and maybe I'm just in the middle of it but and I can't see clearly but I feel like I feel like I have compromised a lot and you don't see that and so this just feels like yet another compromise where I have to change to suit you you don't have to change yeah well listen when I say that it's understood that for this to work I have to change. The reason why it kept changing is not because what I wanted kept changing. The reason why it kept changing is because I was trying to accommodate you and me, and I was trying to make us both happy. And it was a slow process of realizing that I couldn't. So I've stopped asking. And that's why when I say it's up to you, I think it's time that you ask yourself what makes you happy. So I'm gonna move in with a friend for a while. Allowing you space to grow as an individual and allowing me space to grow as an individual with the hopes that we get back together but understanding it can only happen under healthy terms. And we can't be a healthy couple if we're not healthy individuals.